क्वेश्चन नंबर 141 इन एड्स पेशेंट्स बोथ सेल मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी एंड एंटीबॉडी मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी आर नियरली लॉस्ट ड्यू टू सीवियर डिक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ एंड द ऑप्शंस गिवन आर बी लिम्फोसाइट्स हेल्पर टी सेल्स सप्रेसर टी सेल्स एंड मैक्रोफैजेस एंड द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज हेल्पर टी सेल्स दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू because in aids patients number of t4 cells decreases due to their killing by cytotoxic t cells t4 cells secrete interleukins which activate killer t cells for cell mediated immunity and b lymphocytes for antibody mediated immunity let's discuss rest of the options the next option is b lymphocytes and this is incorrect as it mediates antibody mediated immunity only the next option is suppressor t cells and this is an incorrect option because suppressor t cells suppresses the function of cytotoxic and helper t cells so that immune system does not attack body's own cells the next option is macrophages and this is an incorrect option macrophages is a cell which is responsible for providing innate immunity so the correct answer to this question is option number 2 Let's move on to the next question. Question number one forty-two. Select the odd one with respect to fishes, and the options given are cod liver oil, blue revolution, fries, and fingerlings. And the last option is propolis. And the correct answer to this question is option number four, propolis, because propolis is a resinous mixture produced by honey bees. and not by fishes whereas rest of the options that is cod liver oil is an incorrect option as it is collected from fishes the next option is blue revolution and this is an incorrect option because enhancement of fish production is called blue revolution and the last option is fries and fingerlings and it is also an incorrect option because fries are small fishes collected from nursery ponds which grow as fingerlings in rearing ponds so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 Let's move on to the next question. Question number one forty-three. All of the following are characteristic features of plasmid DNA, except the options given are presence of introns. It is always double-stranded. It is circular, naked, and without histones. It does not carry any vital gene necessary for the cell. Plasmid DNA is closed, circular. double stranded autonomously replicating extra chromosomal dna that lack histone proteins and introns along with any vital genes which are necessary for the cell so the correct answer among the given options is option number 1 presence of introns because non coding part of gene that is introns are absent in a plasmid whereas rest of the options that it is always double stranded is correct with respect to plasmid dna so this cannot be a correct answer it is circular naked and without histones is also correct with respect to plasmid dna so this cannot be a correct answer and it does not carry any vital gene necessary for the cell is also correct with respect to plasmid dna so this cannot be a correct answer and the correct answer to this question is option number 1 Let's move on to the next question. Question number one forty-four: Enzymes not synthesized in children suffering from Sked S, and the options given are monoamine oxidase, acetylcholinesterase, adenosine deaminase, and last option is glucose six phosphate dehydrogenase. Now, Sked. or severe combined immunodeficiency is a disorder in which enzyme adenosine deaminase are not synthesized so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 and this ada deficiency is caused due to deletion of gene which is responsible for synthesis of this enzyme is responsible for proliferation of lymphocytes especially t lymphocytes Now let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option given is monoamine oxidase and this is an incorrect option because monoamine oxidase causes breakdown of catecholamines. 
and favism is caused due to deficiency of enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So this is also an incorrect option. And the second option is acetylcholinesterase is also an incorrect option because this is the primary enzyme responsible for hydrolytic metabolism of neurotransmitter acetylcholine into choline and acetate. So the correct answer among the given options is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 145. Which of the following is not considered as specialized connective tissue? And the given options are bone, cartilage, blood and tendon. And the correct answer to this question is option number 4, tendon. Tendon is a dense regular connective tissue formed by collagen fibers and connects a muscle to a particular bone. On the other hand, bone and cartilage are incorrect options because these are specialized skeletal connective tissue. Whereas blood is an incorrect option because it is a specialized fluid connective tissue. Specialized. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's move on to the next question. Thank you.